Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Taurus sun, moon, rising, Venus, or however Taurus may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. And today, Taurus, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what energies or blessings you will be attracting in the month of December and how to make it a December to remember. But first, my name is Lexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my client testimonials, or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channeled messages, and the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload or when I go live on my live stream. Last but not least, if there are people in your social circle that you feel um, would benefit from these free channeled messages, then feel free to share my YouTube channel link. All right, so let's take a look here, Taurus. What energies you will be attracting in your uh, in your direction for the month of December? What blessings you may be attracting your way? And how you can make this December a month to remember. Let's take a look here. What's coming through? Ooh, okay. All right. So we have... Um, ooh, interesting. You have a lot coming out, but I'll take those two. Those two were showing up for you. So you have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. Okay, so that is the first card here for you. And the second card is don't let your past hold you back. Okay, the south note. Let's talk about the first card uh, that popped out of the deck for you here. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so what I feel here energetically, by the way, this is new moon and cancer. Cancer is a water sign, has a lot to do with emotions, okay? For some of you here, give me one second. New moon in Cancer, you have the south node. For some of you here, may not be for all of you, but for some of you, there's something here that may have happened in the past or recent past that is either one or two things connected to someone who is a Cancer, okay? Cancer sign. Or someone here that may be connected here to a water sign. So the water signs are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but it could be here. Okay, so there's this energy here in the month of December reminding you here to get past a situation, circumstance, or event that may have been connected either to a person who is a cancer or a person who is a water sign, or this could be talking about what could potentially be coming up in the month of December, okay? So if it's not their sun sign, it could be their moon, rising, Venus, it could be other placements on their astrological natal chart, okay? So just giving you a heads up on that. I feel here that there's this sense here of like, Either for some of you starting a new um, social circle or circle of friends um, or new people here. It's like starting or um, amplifying or extending your social circle here for some of you. For others of you, I'm getting this energy of... Uh, Either you or someone in your social circle or loved ones here having to do with something here connected to the past or recent past. I'm getting this sense of like reconnecting with friends, reconnecting with family uh, members, reconnecting here maybe to people you haven't spoken to in a very long time or they haven't spoken to you in a very long time. I'm getting here like people in uh, you know, from the past or recent past kind of popping up in your energy or you popping up in their energy. It's funny because that happened to me recently, by the way. So um, very, very interesting. But yeah, so that could be happening to some of you here in the collective. And the South Node, the South Node is all about um, your past, okay? So there's something here about making some changes here. 
um, or realizing something from the past or recent past that may either do a recycling, may do a resurfacing in the month of December. It may be connected to either someone you know, someone you care about, may be connected here to friends, family, loved ones. It may be even connected to a past connection for some of you as well, okay? But there's something here about either now feeling like now is the best time or now, I mean, when I say now, I mean December, okay? Like December may be a good time to either talk, reconcile, set the record straight, um, connect with one another, celebrate, you know, that type of energy. I'm getting here kind of like more bonding with friends, family, or loved ones. And for some of you, it may be someone from the past or recent past that you either may uh, resurface uh, or circle back in their energy or they may circle back in your energy. But it's coming across like now would be a good time or that December would be a favorable time for um, for the both of you to um, either connect, talk, or uh, kind of hash things out. Look at that fear just popped out of the deck here. Mm, yeah, so you have here fear, okay? And some of you may be saying, well, how is that a blessing? Well, it's interesting because it's coming out as a blessing with the South Node. Is as if December or the month of December, some of you may be connecting back to someone or something or some event or emotion or memory or something from the past and recent past that you may not have let go of, or if you thought you let go of it, there could be here some residual energy, which is the reason why you have you and your loved ones are, are safe. Because there's the sense here of letting go of the fear, the guilt, the resentment, um, whether it is real or whether this is imagined or is still an energy that is around you. Um, and it's funny because the, 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 um, the fear has a lot, I don't know if you could see it cause it's, um, it's a hollow, it has a hologram kind of, um, coding, but there are a lot of birds and it's giving me kind of like the 10 of swords energy here in this fear card. And for some of you here, the 10 of swords, even though this is not, a, um, a tarot deck, this is an Oracle deck, but it's giving me that energy of the 10 of swords. And the 10 of swords is about releasing the hurt, releasing the pain, releasing the, um, you know, it's the letting go, the liberation of the memories from the past, the energy from the past, uh, thinking about either a person, a situation, a circumstance, or memories that um, may have created or may surface inside of you or resurface inside of you here towards uh, uh, some sense of either fear or powerlessness. And I'm, I'm getting here that things are going to be fine. So the reason why this is coming out as a blessing is as if this is going to clear. Either you're going to clear it or you're going to notice it when it happens. And you're either going to um, work on this, kind of like make yourself feel better by releasing this energy. Or there's a sense here of uh, kind of like in a way... I'm getting something about safe, about you feeling safe. So you feeling either safe or liberated, feeling like you can let go of this thing. Because whatever this may have been in the past or recent past, or whatever this may be that will resurface here in the month of December, it's something that really, um, it shook you to the core. Okay. Not only emotionally here because of this cancer um, energy, not only emotionally, but it also kind of like what some type of insecurities or feeling, you know, some type of feeling here that maybe either you weren't aware of or that you had kind of buried here. It's interesting because I'm also getting the chariot here in 
tarot and that's all about movement so yeah it's 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 as if you're going to leave this or release yourself from this energy and move either you or the relationship either with this person or this situation it's like you're going to kind of clear it so that you could feel better if it's an individual situation circumstance or event or if this event or situation is connected to someone else, whether it be a family member or someone that you care uh, deeply about. There's this sense here of um, letting yourself, letting that go, letting, releasing yourself from those thoughts, those memories, or that residual thought or memory here in the month of December. Let's see what else comes through here for you, Taurus. Blessings, energies that are coming towards Taurus. So it's coming across as more as like clearing type of energy. And then feeling feeling safe or feeling comfortable in your own skin once you're able to um, kind of let go of this energy here from the past or recent past or something connected here with your self node. It's always great. It's always good to know if, if you know your, of course, your date of birth and the time you were born to kind of look at your astrological natal chart and see what your south node may be so that you can also look at your north node. Exactly what I said. Look at this. Validation confirmation. Okay. Validation confirmation. I told you there's something here in the past or recent past. Some of you, it may be connected to a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces whether it's that person's sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or there could be just like a lot of emotions connected here to a connection from, a, from the past or recent past. Some of you, it may be friends, family, best friends, uh, you know, your social circle, maybe your coworker. It has, it's something here about something or someone about the past or recent past. And whatever that is, remember that I told you here that with fear, I was getting the Ten of Swords energy, that sense of kind of releasing that energy and letting it go. And here it says healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity, addiction, abusive relationship. Okay. So again, there, there's still here or there may be potentially some residual feelings that you may be carrying with you, whether they come out when you are conscious, meaning in your day-to-day -day activities, and you may at times, your mind may wander to that either event, memory, or person, or whether you sleep at night, or when you sleep at night, you may kind of dream of this person, or the situation, the circumstance, or event. So, even though in your waking moments, you're not thinking about this situation, uh, circumstance, event, or energy, or even person, maybe for some of you, it's been coming out in your dreams. And it's like you're kind of still clearing the hurt and the pain, the fear, the memories, or, or the residual energy here from this past or recent past that, like I said, at the top of the reading, really broke your heart or really created the sense of um, you know, pain in some way, shape or form. And I'm hearing mistrust. So I feel here that some of you, this is, uh, this is dealing or pertaining to something about trust. Like, tr you know, you trusted someone that you really truly loved with something or in a connection or in a relationship. And there was a kind of like a betrayal of some sorts. Okay, so that may not be for all of you, but it may be here for some of you because like I said, fear, this card here was popping up clairvoyantly to me as the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords in the traditional deck is a person who is laying down with swords in their back. So for some of you, this is this could be something as betrayal, cheating. Um, by the way, that was the Six of Cups there that wanted to pop out. So again... It, that did a little peekaboo there, but it's showing here that this is definitely connected to the past. And so the blessing or the energy that you're going to be attracting is that of healing this pain or healing this situation, circumstance, or, or event, whether it's the that the person heals it with you or whether you, you know, heal it with that person or whether you heal it within yourselves. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, you saw that? That just 
flew out of the deck here, Taurus. You have the tower. Whatever this was, remember, listen, whatever this was or whatever this may be, okay? One or two things. I'm saying was a lot because the south node is about the past. So whatever this is, um, it is connected to either someone or something or a memory or an experience of the past or recent past. But the tower with the three of cups, look. Taurus, this is reconciliation and reunion in here in, of some sort, okay? Three of cups is reconciliation and reunion. First of all, let me show you. You have the tower, something that was broken down. And you have the three of cups, something here being reunited uh, rec reunion, recon uh, reunion or reconciliation. Okay. So let me give you the, so this is going to go a little longer <laughs> than what I expected. So, okay. So tower, tower moment may have happened here either with someone or there was a tower moment in general here that was very, um, important to you is it, it shook you to the core. And I feel that for some of you, it had to do re with revealing either someone's true colors or whatever this situation, circumstance, or event in the past or recent past, or that may be resurfacing in the month of December, um, has to do with um, not only just fear, but it has to do here, or it could potentially be about trust and uh, dis uh, you know distrust, uh, like being like uh, disloyal. Okay, so someone against your loyalty or. Um, of some sort. Okay. There's this interesting, cause I have had this card for a very long time. I didn't notice that there's someone here in the fetal position down here. I don't know if you can see it, but they're down there. So whatever this is towards, it may have left you in the past or recent past, um, literally in ashes. Okay. Or in this state of feeling like things crumbled, whether it was a relationship that crumbled, whether it was the trust that crumbled, whether it was the loyalty that crumbled, whether it was the bond between you and someone else that crumbled, but something completely had a tower moment. Unexpected, didn't see it coming. Um, and if you may have thought that it was coming, you weren't expecting it to be with a sense of betrayal or distrust. Okay. So that is how that's coming in. Whatever this is, Taurus, it needed to happen. Um, I am a Taurus sun. Ooh, I just touched my mic there. Sorry about that. I am a Taurus sun and a Pisces moon, um, and a Libra rising. So there you go. Now you have my, my three important parts here of my, of my natal chart. But as a Taurus, we tend to stay in situations, circumstances, or events longer than what we need to, because there is this sense of our compassion, our loyalty. We are there through the thick and thin. When we say unconditional love, we mean unconditional love. We mean we will be there for you as a ride or die. However, even though this is great, one thing to uh, keep in mind is that givers tend to uh, attract takers. Okay. And so what may have been the situational circumstance or event here is that maybe you would have stayed here no matter what, but there's something here about the universe creating a situation, circumstance or event or aiding in. Okay. Not so much creating because we all have free will. So there may have been someone here who either made a decision, whether that was you, whether that was, well, that was the other person, or whether that was the revelation of something. And whatever this is, it shook you to the core. It shook the, the relationship to the core, whether that be a, a, a romantic relationship or a non-romantic relationship, such as a loved one, okay? Uh, whatever this was, it was needed in order to break something down so that you are able to see or that you were able to see either the deception, the dishonesty, or how quickly someone would uh, choose to exit a situation. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So that's how this is coming across. It's coming across as a blessing because whatever this was, was a blessing in disguise. Okay. For some of you, there was a sense of liber liberation or feeling liberated here in the month of December. It's like now you have a brand new clean slate to move 
you know, to move past from, right? Like to leave that behind and move in, in a different type of energy. For some of you, I'm getting that you will be here kind of like, um, within the comfort of your own social circle, your friends, family, your loved ones, that's going to help a lot here in regards to the situation, circumstance, or event that, um, uh, either may have happened in the past or will resurface or may resurface here in the month of December. There's a lot of here having to do with the healing heart. So healing yourself, liberating yourself from the situation, circumstance, event, memory, Okay. And by the way, this person that's in the fetal position is definitely pointing here to the past or recent past. So the three of cups is celebration. It's parties. It's being happy within the uh, social circle, family, loved ones, maybe even your partner, maybe even here for some of you, a new partner. All right. But for others of you, there's this sense of this tower moment uh, happening or resurfacing or the memories of that resurfacing in December. And some of you may either come across an opportunity to either reconcile or reunite with someone here that may have broken your heart or may have broken the level of trust or loyalty in regards to you, okay, or you to them, okay? So it's that type of energy that I'm getting. Um, Three of Cups is definitely a beautiful card. So there's a lot of, of just, you know, feeling safe within your own social circles. Um, For some of you, it's like letting bygones be bygones, apologies, um, given or apologies accepted for others of you here. It's like, listen, that's in the past. I am rebuilding something new, which is why the tower moment had to uh, happen here. But just like a word here of, um, kind of like my last thing that I want to say, cause it's coming in as if for some of you, it's like, why did this happen? Or I didn't deserve X, Y, and Z. Okay. Whatever this situation, circumstance, or event, or person may have been, they could have been a very toxic relationship or a toxic connection. Maybe you were, or you maybe at the time you didn't think it was toxic or you didn't think it was um, that type of relationship or connection. But here is showing here that this may have been some type of, see, it says abusive relationships, and sometimes like we think like, like the super extreme. And, and that could have been the case here for some of you, right? But for others of you, um, a, you know, mistreatment comes in many, many different ways. Okay. And definitely here, um, it's showing how someone may have mishandled a situation and that may have created here the sense of, you know, breaking your heart or breaking the trust or breaking, um, uh, your, you know, uh, breaking the loyalty or the bond that was present here because Taurus when you when you are there for someone you are there it has to be something huge in order for you to say you know what I'm out of here or you know what you know fine you want to make that decision you take it you know uh, fine make the decision and I'll I'll do x y and z you know I'll you know leave your life or move in the opposite direction but it has to be really big in order for a Taurus to really move out of a situation or accept a situation as a, you know, as a thing kind of like of, um, you know, we, it's time to let go of it, right? So I feel here for some of you, that is the storyline that's coming in. And definitely that that may be here, that type of blessing or uh, energy that you're going to be attracting, that of more happiness, uh, with you, with yourselves, and for some of you, just creating um, or feeling safe within your own social circles, friends, family, loved ones, and definitely healing your heart within that Three of Cups. Taurus, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.